All right, so I haven't made a video in a while, and I just want to make one today talking about the things that I like and some of the things I don't like about my Cybertruck. Now that I've had it since uh, May 27th, um, spoiler alert, I will say that the things I don't like is a very, very short list. So let's start with the things I do like. First and foremost, I like the design of it. I, you know, I know that I realize that the design is very polarizing and um, a lot of people just can't get over the looks of it. Um, it's so radical, so different. But uh, I'm just here to tell you, I think it's the 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 most badass looking vehicle ever made. And I'm totally dig it. It, um, you know, I think it's, very space age, modern, high tech, um, also a very aggressive um, and just all out cool vehicle. And um, I think most people feel the same way, riding around talking to people and all the thumbs up and uh, likes I get from public. I'll tell you that's most people's perception of the vehicle. But like I said, there's a few people, including, unfortunately, my wife, who just cannot get past the looks. Originally, I was going to buy this for her, and I was going to keep my Model 3, but she does not want to be seen driving this thing every day. So kudos to me. She can keep her Ford F-150, and I'll, keep, I'll drive this. But anyway, that's the first thing I like. Let's just step in side here um, the next thing I will say that I really dig really like is the way this drives with the four wheel steering and with the drive by wire I mean even the throttle response is unlike any other car even other Tesla that I've driven. It's a totally unique, totally different experience. And quite frankly, I, I don't think I could ever go back to any other vehicle after driving this. As a matter of fact, I was gonna keep my Model 3 when I bought this. And after driving this for about a week, I got in my Model 3 and I felt like I went back in, in time just like I was driving an ICE car again. And um, I realized that I, I just I would probably would never drive that Model 3 again, and so I just went ahead and sold it. Um, but love the way this thing drives. I love the feel of it, um, and I love the way it rides. It's got an air suspension. You can go in and change the ride height um, to, you know, make it higher or lower depending on. Um, you also have different driving dynamics so I can go in here and set the comfort sport um, you know it changed the acceleration um, the ride handling the ride height of course we already talked about so all that just makes for an awesome driving dynamic I mean I can make this thing drive like a more like a truck I can make it drive more like a car I can make it drive more like a sports car it's just crazy um, another thing I like is this big big ass screen i mean this is i think the, this is the largest screen on any tesla um 18 and a half inches and the ui uh, when this came out was um different than any of the other teslas um and so i can just zoom in here and you can see it now shows that this is a foundation series it has the badging on the screen it's just pretty cool right there we go uh, but anyway, this screen, this bigger screen, is a game changer. I love it. And um, I just can't say enough good things about the, the software on this vehicle. Tesla is a software-first company. It really shows, you know, while other companies take, uh, I, I take Volkswagen, for example, Volkswagen Group. I, I know um, Dave Connor was just saying on a video I watched yesterday, they have hundreds of Porsches in, um, you know, sitting in docks, um, ports, just waiting for a software update before they can be delivered to customers. And I'm not talking about over-the-air software update. I'm talking about an update with a 
USB drive that can't even get those going and so let alone over the air software updates and so uh, while other companies are struggling with their software to even make that work you know Tesla is is nearly perfected the software and that don't even include I'm not even talking about full self driving that is a on another level um, I will say this I will never have another vehicle that's not on par software wise with the Tesla Maybe Rivian, maybe Scout. We have to see. Uh, I think, from what I understand, they might be using the Rivian software on the Scout vehicles. And um, but, I mean, once you, you know, get accustomed to software on a Tesla, it's like trying to go back to um, an old flip phone after you know using a modern smartphone for for a couple of years. You just can't do it. And um, I've owned uh, Nissan, I've owned uh, Volkswagen, and I've owned Ford EVs, and nobody's even close to Tesla on the software. I mean, I look at this app tray here. I've got uh, <clears throat> YouTube Music, I've got YouTube Videos, Disney Plus, just a plethora of entertainment on here, um, energy apps, there's an off-road app if I want to go off-roading. There's just uh, there's an app where I can go in and review videos from my dash cam. Uh, it might take that just a few seconds to come up. There's just all sorts of apps. Uh, Spotify. I have uh, Apple Music app here uh, where I can play my Apple Music. Just um, a lot of cool things you can do with the Tesla software. Uh, so that in the screen, um, I will say two other things that I really like. One thing I really like about the Cybertruck that doesn't get a lot of attention is this tray in, in the floor here. Um, I really like having that there. I mean, it opens up a lot of space. It makes the Cybertruck seem a lot larger in the in the and open in the front and uh, having that tray down there you know I routinely put my laptop if I'm carrying it or um, you know just about anything else if I got to pick up food at a restaurant I, I put it down there it doesn't slide around and uh, it it really keeps um, your passenger side seat if nobody's sitting there empty um, you know I'm notorious for just keeping things stacked up in my passenger seat my laptop bag or whatever and now i just throw it down there it's a good place to put things like that when you're driving you don't have to worry about them and i just absolutely love that tray um i love the design of the inside you know it, it uh to a large degree it matches the outside with the angular lines um i like the led lighting um i like the white um although i will say that the, this also comes in the interior comes in a, a gray color and that's kind of growing on me I really like this. I haven't seen it in person yet, but it looks pretty cool in the videos. Um, I like the seats. I think these are the most comfortable seats I've ever um, had on a Tesla. Um, um, my daughter likes this rear screen in the back because she can watch YouTube shorts and Disney Plus and her Netflix going down the road. So that's really cool. There's a ton of storage in this car. I mean, you have the front trunk, you have a rear trunk. You have the rear six foot bed. You've got all the storage in the uh, doors. Um, uh, you have storage under the seat. Um, just, you, you know, you've got a glove box. You got this large storage area here and um, it's really deep. You've got storage for drinks, cell phones and that sort of thing up front. So um, the looks, the ride, the drive, the software, the, I mean, really the whole package I like. Um, just jump real quickly into something I don't like, and I think most people would agree with this, and this is one of the few things I can think of that I don't like, is the, the visibility and the blind spot you have due to this large pillar, um, a pillar going down here. Um, you know, at least they do have a, a small window, so you can get some visibility. But this, a lot of times when I'm going, when I'm driving and I'm going around a corner or a curve or something, I have to look out this way or that way to, to feel like, you know, I get a little bit more visibility from this uh, large um, blind spot. The rear is, is fine. I don't have as much problem with. Um, 
if I have the um, vault open, I, I use this uh, rear view mirror right here. Um, and it's fine, you know, people complain about this, but it's it's okay, it's adequate if, you're, if your tonneau cover is, is open. Um, otherwise, you know you have this camera on the screen, which I don't think I can pull it up since I'm not driving, but uh, your rear view mirror is, re is replaced by a camera on the screen, a rear view mirror um, on the screen, which is basically the camera in the rear. And that's fine too. Um, but I find myself looking a lot in the, in the side rear view mirrors in place of this or the camera. And that's, that's okay as well. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, I really, really love this, this vehicle. Um, i most of the time I call it a car instead of a truck. And, you know, my, I confuse my, the heck out of my friends. They say, I thought you had a truck. And I'm like, well, it's kind of, um, I just refer to it as a really, weird car but i don't know i guess it really it is a truck um i use it for truck stuff so anyway so what do you think about it have you driven one um what do you think about the looks do you own one are you plan to get one put your comments and um in the comment section and I, I i'd like to uh engage and talk with some of you about it and um if you're in the Spartanburg, Greenville, Upstate area, and you want you want to uh, take a look at one closer, drop me a, a note as well there, and uh, maybe we can get together or something, or you can uh, come to one of the next Tesla meetups we have. But at any rate, thanks for watching this video. Uh, please like and subscribe if you had not already, and I'll see you in the next one. All right, just a quick addendum to my video I just made. I got to say, shout out to these wheel covers. I like these on the prototype, and I love them on the final version. Love, love, love the look of those wheel covers. Very modern space age. It looks like something to be on a moon rover. Um, and, of course, I couldn't make a like video without mentioning the vault. Everybody's favorite feature on the side of the truck, the vault cover. Let you keep um, your uh, belongings locked up and out of sight, out of mind, protected in this metal cover. My wife had to have one of those put on her F-150. She liked it so well, so we just got through doing that. I'll make another video about that, too. So, uh, anyway, just wanted to uh, add this to the video. Hope you like it. Thanks a lot.